All right, all right. Today's special. Today's awesome. Uh, Melanie Martinez back in the Bay Area. Welcome back, homie. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's, it's so nice to see you again. Things have changed since the last time I saw you. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I think it was for uh, in person, at least, because we did a virtual call, I think, about a year ago or two years ago in the middle of the pandemic and everything like that. But the last time I saw you, I think you were sneaking out backstage to go ride roller coasters at Great America a few years ago. Yes. I love roller coasters. Yeah. You're not scared of heights or anything like that? Not really, actually. Yeah. I, I love roller coasters um, and, like, amusement parks in general. Um, I don't know. I've always had kind of a love for them. Maybe when I get older, I'll, I'll start to get more nauseous and kind of more sensitive to it. But for now, I'm still into it, so... Got you. So you got a show tonight in San Francisco. Bill Graham fans are already lined outside around the corner. How is exciting is it for you to be back in the Bay? Very exciting. Um, I love it here, and it's going to be really fun. Um, I have a, a fun little show planned for everyone, so I'm excited for them to see it. And you dropped your album Portals uh, a couple of months ago. We're playing Void like crazy. Love that. <laughs> Definitely, uh, personally, one of my favorite songs on the project. Thank um, you. Talk about the process going from Cry Baby to K-12 through to Portals for everybody. Um, so Cry Baby was kind of just the start of introducing the character, Cry Baby, to everyone. And then K-12 through was kind of like, you know, her um, school years and uh, kind of a commentary on society and uh, the hierarchy of, like, power uh, in different fields. So if you relate it to, like, the music industry, K-12 through is, like, a great kind of microcosm of uh, what that's like um, or just any industry, really. And then um, now with Portals, it's more existential. Uh, it's all based off of the afterlife and past life regression therapy books that I've been reading for a few years now. So, um, yeah, that's... That's basically it. I wanted to just kind of um, show that the character Crybaby is in a different vessel now and that she's immortal, essentially. Got you, got you. At some point, does Crybaby return? I mean, I don't want you, Obviously, you can't, like, give out all the tea. This is... I think this is the end of the trilogy. I think I'm going to end it here, and whatever I put out next will be a completely new thing, so... <laughs> That's awesome. Now, the first couple of shows for tour, how has it been? Like, how is the perception from the crowd? Because your show, your tour, the entire tour sold out in, what, a couple of days, if anything? Like, for the first day? Yeah, I'm not sure, but it's really, really cool. And I'm very grateful that people um, bought tickets to see the show because it's a really special show. And this album means the world to me. It's, like, the most aligned I've ever felt with a body of work that I've ever created. So for people to be so into it and come in character and they're like painting their face up like the character and dressing up it's like it's just such a fun experience it's been really awesome so far that's awesome one of the biggest questions i see online all the time are you do you plan on going overseas with the tour will it be international at some point we're announcing that soon yes also another question a portals film everyone's like is there an update is that going to happen yes so you know everything is just waiting on funding and partners and whatnot um so still just waiting i've had i've been sitting on the script for like years now so it's been a while that I've been waiting to finally uh, film it. But also with touring, we have to find the right amount of time in between tours to actually be able to film it when we do get the, um, the budget. Because it's not just coming from the label. I think that's the confusion is a lot of my fans are like, oh, well, the, the label. But it's like the label, I'm, you know, I'm working with them on music videos so that I could still make music videos. And then the film is like a separate thing that I'm trying to get funding for. So it's a whole, it's like... It's a whole separate industry going into film rather than in music. So it's different than K-12. For sure. And, like, the thing is, with your videos, with everything that you do, from what I've noticed since I became a fan of yours, since you came to our Summer Splash show, because that's when I was introduced to you and everything, everything is very elaborate. Like, you take it very serious. Your creative process is super, super dope. Where do you get that inspiration from? Like, are you just hanging out in the room and just, like, <laughs> yeah. taking notes and different things like that? Um, yes. Uh, most of the time, I am just sitting down on my laptop and just trying to brainstorm a bunch of different ideas until something uh, feels like it fits the most. But um, it just, you know, inspiration strikes you in weird places. Sometimes I'll be in the car looking out the window, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, my God, that would be an amazing idea. And then I just write it down, and then, you know, a month later I'll come back to it and be like, okay, let, let me make this video treatment and send it in and try to work with, you know, a producer on how we're going to be able to actually <laughs> execute this and make it, you know, as close as possible to what I see in my head, which is always the hardest part. So, yeah. For sure, for sure. Now, for the creature, like creating a creature, um, 
Were you ever nervous? I know you talk a lot about anxiety in your interviews and different things like that. Because I've definitely looked into it. And me personally, like my biggest anxiety, what makes me anxious is going into a room for the first time. Because, you know, I'm a bigger dude. So I'm always worried, what are people going to think initially? Did you have any, like, moments where you're like, maybe I shouldn't do this, maybe I should, anything like that? And how do you, like, overcome that if you do get to that point? Um, yeah, I mean, my anxiety is very much based on stress. So I have a lot of stressful, like, kind of work things. You know, I wear a lot of hats and creatively, so I have to do a lot of different things. So, I, you know, costume design and I have so many different deadlines for everything, and all of it is for the greater good of my vision. So it's like stuff that I do want to do, but it almost feels like I never have enough time uh, or resources to, to do the things that I want to do, and that is a big stress uh, causer for me and, and makes me, you know, my anxiety is different. Everybody's, you know, so different. So for me, it's like it affects me physically. Like So with Void, like, you know, that was a really great cathartic experience for me to be able to express what it feels like um, to have anxiety and also there's a lot of double meaning with a lot of the past life regression therapy books that I read a lot of people talk about entering this you know kind of space where there's no um, there's no light and it's just kind of them and no one else is there but them to judge them ex except for themselves so um, so yeah that's kind of what anxiety feels like for me so I kind of wanted to blend the two with that song and um, I'm, I'm glad that people are resonating with it absolutely absolutely now, uh, Diamond, who's one of the producers here at the station, she asked me to ask you, what is the creature's skincare routine? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, you know, just, I, I think a lot of, like, mud facials and just laying in, in the moss until you're completely overtaken by nature. Yeah. That's pretty fire. I might try that one day. It's, it works, you know? Word, word. A message for your fans here in the Bay Area and everybody listening tonight. Um, thank you for your support. Thank you for growing with me on this journey. Um, it's going to be a really fun show. I can't wait for you to see it. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> thank you so much, Melly. Melly Martinez. Woo!